another topic that is major importance from gate perspective from the numerical perspective is the thermal processing part. Now, in case of thermal processing, we will, the most important concepts are the microbial inactivation. That means the time, the temperature that is required for killing of microbes is a very important plus the growth of microbes is also important. So starting with the formula that is associated with the uh, first order kinetics, which is T is equals to 2.303 by n log n naught by n. So this is the formula which can be written it like this, we can, which can be written in this form. Basically, this is the first order kinetics. And because we assume that the bacterial death or the killing of the bacteria follows first order uh, reaction. So we use this equation and we can also convert it into a different form. Like for example, in this case, T is equals to 2.303 by K log N naught by N. Now, if we write the time, T is the time required for killing of the bacteria. We can uh, write it like F value and log N naught by N divided by D value. Uh, sorry, multiplied by D value, right? Just a minute. So we are multiplied by D value because D value can also be written as 2.303 by k. It is the value that we use. We have been using since then. So f by d would be equal to log n naught by n, where n naught is the number of microbes initially, which after treatment of f times will decrease to n. See the value d d value is the time for 90% reduction of the population. Okay, so by that D value for any population at a particular temperature is fixed. If we are increasing the processing time, the number of microbial reduction would increase. Like F is increasing, N would decrease because initially there are microorganisms and they are decreasing to a lower value to N. And F is the uh, F value, D is the D value. Both are in seconds. F hum logo ka ho jayega time required to kill a given population of microorganisms at a particular temperature. Similarly, D value is the time for 90% reduction of the population and N naught is the initial population of the microbes and N is the population of the microbes after treatment. Now, spoilage probability, again, using this formula, we can find out the spoilage probability to sit in a different terms, but the equation is the same one. Similarly, we have a certain relation between the two F values and two D values if we have a similar Z value. Now, this Z value is the temperature difference required to change the D value by 90%, right? So, the if we are given with a reference D value, we can find out the D value at a different temperature. Like, for example, if D value at T1 is given, and T2 pe hum logo ko nikalna hai, provided Z is given to you, we can find out the D value. Similarly, we can have a similar formula in case of F value as well. Now this can be rewritten as in this terms and usko hum log activation energy se compare karke by the help of this formula, Arrhenius equation, we can write this equation as well. Similarly, Q10, which is the rate, which is to assess the change of rate of any reaction with respect to temperature. That means if we increase the temperature by 10 degrees Celsius, the ratio of their rate of reactions can be measured and is called the Q10 ratio. Now the questions that come from here are a bit different. Like for example, D value at 121 degrees Celsius and Z value is given to you uh, for a spore that is present in the milk is 30 seconds at 10 degrees Celsius. So 10 degrees Celsius is Z value and the D value is given as 30 seconds. You have to calculate the D value of 150 seconds. Okay. And the heating time that is required at 121 degrees Celsius for nine log cycle reduction. Now, the entire concept would be clear from here itself. Uh, we need to know the D value at 150 degrees Celsius first of all. So we discussed the formula that was D2 by D1, 10 to the power, it was 
d2 by d1 is equal to 10 to the power t1 minus t2 upon z. Right, this was the formula. This was the first step that we have to uh, do over here. D2, that is the D at 150 degrees Celsius. So I'm writing at D2 and D at 121 is 30 seconds. So we have 10 to the power 121 minus 150 divided by Z value, which is 10. On solving this, we can find out the value of D2, which will be equal to... Uh, yeah, it will be equal to 0 0.038 seconds. So as we are increasing the temperature, D value reduces, right? This is the basic concept. Now we need to find out the heating time required for 121 degrees Celsius uh, for nine log cycle reduction. So the formula for the death kinetics that is ln n naught upon n is equals to F by D. That is T upon 2.303 by k right so d value we know at 121 degrees celsius we need to find out the processing time so no nine log cycle reduction that means it reduces by nine nine log cycle matlab agar hum logo ka initially 10 to the power nine microbes the finally they reduce to one while we are heating it for f time so ln 10 to the power 9 upon 1 or we can ah yeah we usually we have log not ln we have log because of 2.3 is being used over here now so we have log over here right yeah log so log 10 to the power 9 by 1 is equals to f that is we have to find it out dk value we know that is 30 seconds so log 10 log is base 10 right so we'll be getting 9 out over here f by 30 so value of f would be 9 into 30 that is 270 seconds okay so value of f that is the heating time required in order to reduce the log cycle of 9 log cycle reduction and at a temperature of 121 degrees Celsius can be found out from here. Similarly, another question that is based on this concept, that is the inactivation rate constant is given for any micro. We need to find out the D value. The D value we know that is 2.303 by K. K means the rate constant of reduction of the micro. So here we just have to put it into the formula directly. That is 1.84 and we can find out the answer. That is 2.303 divided by 1.84, which will come nearly 1.25 seconds. So the D value is coming like this. Now, another important concept that is related to the thermal processing, although this is related to the microbial growth in the bacteria in the culture, like for example, if we have initially uh, n naught number of microbes they will increase to n and because we are concerned with the exponential growth again so this would be equal to kt right so again if you are converted into log we will be getting log n upon n naught it will be k upon 2.303 into t right now t is the time for the growth of the microorganisms like for example you had 10 microbes and they are growing to 10 to the power 10 in two hours so each time that is the generation time is different like for example generation time is the time that is required for the microbe to split into two that means it to reduce daughter cells right so uh, if we have to find out the total time it will be equal to number of times the multiplication has occurred into the generation time would be equal to the total time right so uh, and this n how to find out n? n that will be the final population of microbes. It will be equal to n naught multiplied by two to the power n because every time a microbe uh, is splitting, it is splitting into two. So two to the power n. n matlab ki number of generations that we have, and n over here is the capital N refers to the uh, total population after t time. N naught is the initial population. Small n is the generation, number of generations, and g is the generation time, and t is the total time. Like, for example, in this question, 
that were asked in gate exam. The question says during the bacterial growth experiment, total viable count at two hours and six hours is given. Okay, that is 1 into 10 to the power 4 and 1 into 10 to the power 9 cells per ml. We have to find out the specific growth rate of the culture in per hour basis. Now, the specific growth rate, uh, because we are talking about the specific growth rate of the microorganism, we uh, although this is not associated with the bacterial growth, we will we will be discussing another question that is related to it. Uh, we have to find out the specific growth rate. Now, what will happen here? Log n upon n naught should be equal to k upon kt upon 2.303, right? So, we have to the specific growth rate. Nikalne. That means we need to find out the value of k. Now, log 10 to the power Initially, we have, I mean, finally, we have 10 to the power 9. Initially, we had 10 to the power 4. It should be equals to K into T. T is the time difference between these two. That is 4 divided by 2.303. So, on solving, we can find out the value of K. That will come out 2.878 per hour. So, that is the growth rate growth and the decay of the microbes follow the first law of first order kinetics uh, for this chemical reaction and we can find it out by this formula to do is in case of the formula would be the opposite that means log n naught upon n is equals to kt upon 2.303 and similarly the other variables can be found out from here